Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, in this lecture, we shall study the geometric interpretation of derivatives. Let us revise that if two points are given on a line, then the slope of that line can be obtained by this formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. In other words, the slope m is equal to change in y divided by change in x. A line which intersect a curve at at least two points is called a secant line. And a line which intersect a curve at only one point is called a tangent line. Now, if we are given a function f of x, then we can draw the graph of that function. Let us say the graph of function f of x is given by this red curve. Now, draw a secant line which intersect the graph of f of x at point A and B. To find the coordinate of A, let us say the distance from the origin to this point along the x-axis is denoted by small x. Then the distance along the y-axis is f of x. So the coordinates of A are x and f of x. The coordinates of B can be seen from this graph the distance from the origin to this point is x plus h, where h is the distance between this point and this point. Sometime we denote this small h by delta x. And the distance along the y-axis is f of x plus h. So the coordinates of point B are x plus h comma f of x plus h. Now let us find the slope of this secant line by using this formula. So the slope is f of x plus h minus f of x divided by x plus h minus x. And if we Simplify this, minus x and plus x will be cancelled. And we get that the slope is f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Now let us move the point B towards point A on this red curve. When we take point B, from this point to this point, a little closer to A, we can see that the point X plus H moves from this point to this point, closer to X. And the value of H is decreasing. In a similar procedure, we can find the coordinates of point B, the coordinates of point A are fixed, and we can find the slope of this new secant line passing from point A and B, which is given by this formula. Let us take the point B a little more closer to A from this point to this one and now to this point. As a result, we can see that x plus h moves from this point to this point and now to this point which is a little more closer to x. And we can see the value of h is decreasing a little more. In a similar procedure we can draw a secant line passing from a and b we can find the coordinates of point B and then the slope of the new secant line given by this formula.
Now let us see this final figure in which we can see that we take point B from this position to this position, then to this position. And now if we take point B to this point, then to this point, then to this point, and then sufficiently close to A, very, very close to A, and pass a line from point A and B, then we can see that B is very, very close to A. So that line will touch only one point of the graph of the function f of x, and that is called a tangent line. Now to find the slope of this new line, we use the same formula, but as B is very, very close to A, we can see that in this case, H will be very, very small number. So we take the limits that H is so small that H tends to zero. And that thing is called derivative of the function F of X, which is denoted by f dash of x or sometime we write d by dx of f. So it is clear that derivative is actually the slope of this tangent line. In other words, we can say that derivative is the sudden change, the instantaneous change in one variable with respect to another variable or one thing with respect to another thing. This lecture is continue. Please watch part two of this lecture.